All right, what's up everybody? We're back with another beer review. It's Dave and Pat from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Tonight we got a brew out of Minnesota from Surly Brewing Company out of Brooklyn Center. Thanks to my friend Chris sending this one over to me. Nice. This is their overrated West Coast IPA. Their little dig at the collective craft beer snobbery. You can't stop it, Surly. <laughs> this one weighs in at 7.3% alcohol. It's not overrated. No, the, it's a little really more right. subtle than I expected, but it's definitely West Coast. I mean, you got your, mm -hmm. you know, fruits, fruity, yeah. grassy. Yeah, mm -hmm. no pine at all, really. It's kind of a, you know, like I said, a little more subtle of an IPA. Mm -hmm. Definitely citrusy, more on the citrus. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, citrusy. Not too big on the flowers, though. Cheers. Cheers. A little more mild than I expected. Yeah. Pretty mellow, actually. Yeah. It follows the nose, actually. Yeah. It's kind of understated on the flavor. Um, yeah, I, it's actually kind of, you know, underwhelming me a little bit, to be honest with you. Might you say it's a little... Underrated? Overrated? Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> overrated. <laughs> understated and overrated, yeah. But it's a decent beer. I'm, you know, I'm liking it. I don't know when this was brewed. I don't have. Oh, it was uh, May. I think it was May seventh. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And this was a one-time only brew. Yeah. So oh, they kind of just shot this out just to give it a try. Uh, I recently drank with Maury a Surly Abrasive, and that beer blew me away. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. It was. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being attacked by a mosquito here. Uh, that beer actually blew me away. I'd put it up there with some of the, you know, elite IPAs, but I'm a little underwhelmed from this one, and I guess I was expecting a little bit more out of it after drinking their abrasive IPA. Actually, the more I'm drinking of this, the more of a, of a, of a fuller fruit flavor I'm getting out of it, and a little more bitterness on the tail end. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty cool when we poured it here, so it might Yeah, be... it is a little cool. They might come out, the hops might come out a little more, but... It's definitely not an upfront IPA. I can say no. that. Um, it's solid though. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's below average or anything. It's definitely a no. good beer. Just maybe not elite. It's not an in your face IPA. No. It's not at it's all. a nice it has a nice rounded taste to mm -hmm. it. You know, the one thing I have to say, it does taste even a little mild for seven point three yeah. that it was. So I don't get any of that. So there's no can, yeah, there's no alcohol taste. You could get in trouble with a few of them, I think, especially sixteen ounces. Uh, for the overrated West Coast IPA here, uh, I would still say it's above average. Mm -hmm. It's an above average beer. I'll give it a solid three and a half out of five. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Three and a half, slightly above average, but nothing really to write a letter home about. Mm -hmm. nice, there you have it. Rounded, rounded taste all around, but Absolutely. very pleasant. All right, there's another one in the uh, bag for the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Surly, overrated West Coast IPA. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, in the picture, I was not. I mean, we know we're looking good. <laughs> <laughs>